I'm Ashley Weston. I'm a celebrity menswear stylist. This video is part of my men's essential accessory series. To see the other articles and videos in this series, click on this link below. All right, so today we're gonna be talking about backpacks. Like I mentioned in my Weekender bag story, a backpack is a necessity because it fills some of the gaps in your bag arsenal. So for example, say you're working in a casual environment, it might look a little strange if you're carrying a briefcase. It also works great if you're going to the gym or if you wanna get some work done at a coffee shop or if you're going on a short trip and you don't wanna pack your laptop or other personal items in your Weekender bag. So there's a couple of requirements for your backpack. It should look classy and timeless. It should also work well with dressy and casual outfits, although you should never wear a backpack with a suit. I'll get into more of that a little bit later. It should easily be able to carry a 15 inch laptop. Your backpack should also be comfortable and it should last you a long time. So let's go over what your backpack isn't. So I think a lot of men assume that a backpack is the only bag they really need, which is mostly true, but there are two massive exceptions. The first is, say you're wearing a suit or a sport coat, you never want to wear a backpack because the shoulder straps will severely wrinkle the shoulder area as well as the back of your jacket, and it could possibly even ruin your jacket's shoulder padding. So if you're wearing these types of outfits, then you need a bag that you can carry by its handles, which means you need a briefcase. The second exception is if you're going camping or you're lugging around camera equipment or other items, that's when you want a specialty backpack. As for what material your backpack should be, go with something that's functional and classy, which means you gotta go with leather. I've seen some really nice nylon and cloth or fabric versions out there, but they just tend to wear and stain easily and they don't work in as many situations as a leather backpack would. It's just a little too sporty and tactical for my taste. So what color should your backpack be? I recommend going with black, gray, or brown, but like I mentioned in my Weekender story, you want to make sure that the color of your backpack matches as closely as possible to your Weekender bag because when you're traveling, you tend to have these items together, so you want to have a nice cohesive look to your luggage. So that just leaves us with the $10,000 question, which is, what backpack should you get? First up, I've got the Venture Backpack by This Is Ground. So you might remember them from my wallet story. I have to say they have one of the best leather backpacks out there. I love the design. It's super simple and well thought out with just some awesome details. The Italian leather is super soft, but it also still is stiff enough so that it maintains the shape of the backpack. I also really love all the slots and pockets in here because it just fits just the right amount of stuff without it seeming unnecessary, which I see this in a lot of backpacks. It's a big issue. There are two main compartments. The first has a padded sleeve for your laptop and pockets on the opposite side. The second compartment is just wide open so you can put whatever you want in there. My clients and I really like this top pocket right here. It's deceptively deep so it fits your wallet, phone, and your keys really nicely in there. What I really love is that it's hidden and it's not easy to get to so if you're you know, on a train platform, you're not gonna get pickpocketed. It's a lot harder to do that with this pocket. This next point might sound really small, but I really love the shoulder straps and back padding. The padding's really soft and the shoulder straps are a really nice width so that it's not digging into your shoulders when you're carrying a heavy load. Also, I really like that the straps are attached to the bottom of your bag instead of traditionally Backpacks usually have the straps attached to the side right over here. It just helps it not come unstitched when you're using this backpack a lot, which is a huge problem with backpacks. It's always so annoying when your straps just start to break off. Major kudos to This Is Ground for giving just the right amount of slack to the shoulder straps. I love it because when you tighten or loosen up your backpack, there's not a bunch of fabric flopping around, which plagues a lot of backpacks. I also really love the secret compartment because you can hide your valuables and and this tiled dongle, which allows you to download an app and track your backpack in case it ever gets lost. I had this backpack in their cognac brown, which is a really nice, rich color that is going to age so well, but I love their charcoal black as well. Make sure you get the regular size and not the mini size. The mini is way too small and it actually looks like it's made for a woman. Next up, I've got the Special Ops Backpack 2.0 by Kill Spencer. So just like their Weekender bag, the design is well thought out. It's just really classy with just the right amount of edge. And I love this 
this leather. It's really durable and soft, and the charcoal color is fantastic. It matches perfectly with their Weekender bag, but they also offer this backpack in black. Like the Venture backpack, the zippers are buttery smooth, and the rest of the hardware is just awesome. They also have this big pocket in the front, although I don't know if I would keep my valuables in there because it's a little too easy access for pickpocketers, but it's a really nice touch. It's useful just to have that. So the lining on the inside of the backpack is fireproof and waterproof. So in case your backpack ever catches on fire, you're covered. There is also a padded sleeve for your laptop as well as mesh interior pockets, which is really useful because now you can see the items that you're uh, keeping in those mesh pockets. I know that sounds like a small point, but it's a really nice feature to have. So unlike the Venture backpack, which is a little bit deeper, I love the slimmer profile of this backpack. And I also really like that the back padding is made out of nylon. So in case you get a little bit sweaty back there, you don't have to worry about it staining. And lastly, I've got the Dean backpack by Matt and Nat. So if you're looking for a leather alternative backpack, then this is definitely the best looking faux leather backpack that I've ever seen. It has a very unique, but not overbearing design. It has a big top loading storage area with a padding compartment for your laptop, as well as another pocket for like your notebook or whatever you wanna put in there. And the rest of the space is just wide open so you can fill it up with whatever you want. There's a pocket on the outside, which you can fit smaller items. There's also these pockets right here, which are just kind of open in case you wanna put anything there. It's just a nice touch to have. The only downside of this backpack would have to be the straps. So these woven straps feel a little cheap and I question the durability of them, but for the price point, it's perfectly acceptable. I have this backpack in black, but there's also a brown version. But overall, this is the best leather alternative backpack that I've ever seen. So these are the three best backpacks I could find. Honestly, I've been testing backpacks for a long time and there are a few that just missed the mark in one way or another, so I decided to include them in my honorable mention section in my article, which you can take a look at at this link below. This video is part of my men's essential accessory series. Check out my website for a more in-depth article that includes my honorable mentions. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And if you like this video, remember, give it a thumbs up. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. So the interior of the backpack is lined with, so the interior of the, so the, so the lining in the interior of the backpack is fire and waterproof. So in case your backpack catches on fire, you're all good. It won't, it won't. I don't know what I was gonna say there. I don't know where I was going. There you go. Done. Oh, that was like a squat. That's, oh, my thighs. All right, I'm out of shape.